today we're going to give away a free t-shirt, debut a brand new segment, and reveal the books I bought this week. How y'all doing? I'm Victor, and you are watching The Comic Hero Show. Now kick that logo! of the Comic Hero Show. I'm your host, Victor Nunley, and I am the Comic Hero. The Summer of Superheroes continues. Now, as I've said uh, in the last episode, I'm doing two episodes a week throughout the rest of the summer because I ended up making a whole bunch of superhero comic hero tees, and there's been a lot of books that I've read, and I want to go ahead and reveal what they are to y'all. And in this episode, I'm paying tribute to the, to the greatest Canadian superhero in comics history, the best at what he does, Wolverine. And this is a Wolverine comic hero tee, and if y'all can see, um, I have the, um, of course, the X-Men logo on the side. I want y'all to see something else. Uh, of course, you know, it wouldn't be a Wolverine shirt without the, uh, the Claude, uh, Vince. And to go along with it, this X-Men hat. Now, uh, I'm going to have y'all vote for, um, shirts for me to wear. In, in future episodes, but not in the and not in the coming week. In the coming week, because it's the Fourth of July week, I'm going to be um, wearing shirts that represents uh, two superheroes that have served in our country. And, I'm, and in episode 259, I'm going to uh, I'm going to pay tribute to Captain Marvel, who is Air Force, and in episode 260, Captain America, who's Army. And because um, this is a um, I'm doing two episodes a week. Not every segment on the show. I'm separating the segments. Now, in the last episode you watched, I had the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown, comically speaking, and comic books I bought this week. In this one, I have a free tea giveaway. I'm debuting a brand new series called the, the Book of the Week and more comics I bought this week. So let's kick things off and give away a free t-shirt. Alright, in the last episode I asked, what is the Asgardians rite of passage to any of the other nine realms? Well, the correct answer is the Bifrost. Now, if you said Rainbow Bridge, I accepted that answer also. Four people have answered correctly, and because they've answered correctly, your names have been entered in a drawing for a free tea. And that drawing takes place right now. So, the winner of the free tea for this week's episode of the show is... Anna Bergeron from Lafayette, Louisiana. So congratulations, Anna. You win yourself a free comic hero team. All right, here's the question for episode 260. And this is an Iron Man question. What's the name of the AI inside Iron Man's armor? Now, it's also the name of the AI in Avengers Endgame. And here's a hint. It's a day. It's a day. It's also a day of the week. Everyone who answers correctly will be entered in a drawing for a free tea on episode 260 of the Comic Hero Show. Now, I'm really excited about this new segment that I have. It's called The Book of the Week. I mean, y'all y'all know, I mean, for, for those of y'all that um, watch the show and been watching it for a very long time, y'all know uh, some of the books that I read, but I've never really told y'all what I think about them. And this segment is tailor-made just for that. So here we go. It's the Comic Hero Book of the Week. Let's do this. All right. My, the book that I have this week on the very first segment of the Book of the Week is Deadpool. Now, I'm going to give you all a brief description on, on Deadpool for those of you all don't know. Now, now Deadpool was created by uh, writer Fabian Niasiza and artist Rob Liefeld and made his debut in an issue of The New Mutants number 98 in 1991. Now here's something that a lot of folks don't know about Deadpool was that he wasn't always an anti-hero. He actually started out as a villain. He was a villain in the pages of The New Mutants and then later in issues of X-Force. But fans loved him so much and not just fans but uh, creators throughout you know Marvel Comics even back in the 90s loved him so much that they decided it would be wrong to make him, I mean, to keep him a villain, 
but it will also be wrong for him to be a hero. So they decided to make him an anti-hero. Or as we know him as the Merc with a Mouth. Now his origin is, is very shaky. I mean, there have been folks that have that have actually come out with like different versions of his origin. I mean, there, uh, now the one that we've been, that a lot of folks have been led to believe, me, me included, is that he was a, um, a, a vigilante who, who had succumbed to a very uh, aggressive form of cancer. And then Weapon X called him, and then he tried to he, he tried to contact everyone that he could, and he ended up getting a hold of Weapon X, which was the same uh, the same organization that gave Wolverine his animanium claws. Well, well, gave him his the animanium on his claws. I mean, he's Wolverine's always had claws, by the way. But um, he calls them. He says, "Hey, I'm dying of cancer. I need some help." He said, "Okay." We're going to give you, I mean, hey, we worked on Wolverine. We gave the animanium uh, that's laced throughout his skeleton and his claws. Uh, we think we can help you because we ended up getting some of his DNA. So what they did was they gave, uh, they gave, they gave uh, Wade, of course, Deadpool's real name is Wade Wilson, um, D, um, some of Wolverine's DNA, which consisted of a healing factor. Well, it worked, but it left him disfigured. And then, and here's the thing, Deadpool can't die, not, not really. And whenever he suffers an injury and his healing factor kicks in, it works, but it also causes psychosis and, um, other, and, and other, uh, mental, um, mental injuries. And that's why he's so, you know, he's, well, Deadpool. Now, in the previous volume of, of the um, of the series, he was trying his hand at being at actually being a hero, and it didn't always go so well. Well, because he they didn't fall because mainly because you know he wasn't really a hero uh, according to some of some of the Marvel heroes' uh, standards because you know who kills. And so, um, he knew it wasn't really working. And in this, and in the previous volume of, uh, of Deadpool, which just ended early last year, in the, uh, the final story arc, in I mean, in the, in the, in the, um, in the, the conclusion to a story arc, story arc entitled The Marvel Universe Kills Deadpool, he mind wipes himself and decides to um, start from scratch. And in his current volume, he ends up hiring um, a character that that was in um, the dead that's in, actually in the Deadpool movies, Negasonic, and uh, hires her, hires her as his receptionist or or uh, errand girl. And you know he goes back to his uh, mercenary ways, and he and um, he goes off and tries to uh, kill people for a profit. At one point. These young, these these young children. There was a Christmas issue where these young children come to him and say, "Hey, we didn't get our Christmas presents. We want you to kill Santa Claus." So it goes up to the North Pole, and it so happens that Santa wasn't responsible for them not getting their gifts. It was actually one of his elves who decided to uh, to go on a, I mean, to, to to turn bad, and so Deadpool ends up, you know, killing him. And then it goes up against this. And in a, a, a later issue, he, he ends up going up against this uh, this character called Good Night. No, I'm dead serious. The character's name is Good Night. And um, the and well, actually, Good Night was actually looking for Deadpool, and he wanted to kill Deadpool, or at least attempt to kill Deadpool, because Deadpool ended up killing his parents. And in, in other words, this was the way. Good night told to, uh, told all the stuff he went through to become Good Night. It almost sounds like Batman's origin, and Deadpool's like, you know what? That's all great and everything, but I killed your parents for. There was probably a reason why I killed your parents. I, I didn't just go around killing people just because. And um, it all it, and it all happens that um, 
this is all a ruse set up by, by somebody who um, who once tried to go after Deadpool and then the 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 Marvel's uh, number one demon himself, Mephisto. And the last issue I read was number thirteen, which was a tie into the World of the Worlds, where he's in the, where he ends up getting sent to Australia um, to fight some of uh, Malekith's forces, and ends up teaming up with the Australian version of the Avengers. And he, and they don't get along with them very well. But then again, what character go, uh, gets along with Deadpool? But one thing that I love about uh, about this book is that you know it's written by Scotty Young. Now Scotty Young. When, when a lot of folks that read comics like me, when they hear the word Scotty Young, they think of him, they think of, you know, his artwork. When I found out that he was actually writing, um, he was actually on to be the writer, I'm thinking, he writes? Um, most of the artwork has been done by Nick Klein, who is a up-and-coming artist. And, um, the two gel very well, and uh, I can't wait to to read what I can't wait to read what what these two are going to do together. I mean, there have been some there have been some artwork that have been done by by other artists, but Nick Klein is the main artist, and uh, uh, you know, and he uh, Scotty Young is. I mean, he's delivering. I mean, he g ended up getting the baton from uh, Jerry Duggan, and uh, he's been. He's been running with it very well, and I and I only you know, and I, I can't wait to read uh, what comes next for the Merc of the well, the Merc, the Merc with a mouth. Now next week I'll have a, a brand new uh, I'll have a new book for you. Or now speaking of books, it's time to get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. <laughs> All right, first up is Wonder Twins number four. Wonder Twins number five. The, the Superior Spider-Man number seven. Wonder Woman number 72. Superman number 12. Supergirl number 31. The Flash number 72. The Immortal Hulk number 19. Guardians of the Galaxy number 10. And finally, Venom number 15. Alright, that's 10, which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 9,399. enjoyed this episode and here's a question for the um, the free tea giveaway for episode 260 what is the name of the AI inside of Iron Man's armor now it's also the name of his AI in Avengers Endgame and here's a hint it's the name of a day everyone who answers correctly be in a drawing for a free tea for episode 260 and congratulations to Anna Bergeron from Lafayette Louisiana won a uh, free tea on this episode all right um now, I hope y'all uh, like this Wolverine shirt, and if anyone wants any, or wants a Wolverine shirt, adult, sh adult sizes, no matter what size it is, are $20. For children, they're 10, and then for infants, they're seven. And um, I wanna thank everyone who voted for this one. I didn't get the most votes. However, I did say, regardless of what T ends up getting the most or least votes, None of y'all votes, none of your votes went in vain. Whoever won the, uh, the team that won, that got the most votes was Deadpool. I wore that in episode uh, 257. Um, wearing this one here in episode 258. And uh, next week, I'm not going to have y'all vote for, 
Now, I'm not going to, uh, I did have y'all vote for uh, NETs for episode 259 and 260, but again, that's because I'm doing, um, I'm ra- I'm, uh, because this week is 4th of July week, I'm going to pay uh, tribute to some comic book characters who are who are also in the U.S. military. And I'm talking about Captain Marvel in episode 259 and Captain America in episode 260. And But in uh, but I will have y'all vote for uh, two more for episodes 261 and 262. Um, I haven't decided exactly um, which ones I'm going I'm going to have y'all vote on, but I'll I'll let y'all know. Uh, but y'all find out later on this week on social media. And then also I, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to do this on episode. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this uh, right here on YouTube as well. I'm gonna have uh, YouTube viewers and subscribers uh, vote as well. That way. Because you know, it wouldn't really be fair for only folks um, on social media to vote. I also want uh, viewers on YouTube to vote as well. So that's how I'm going to do it from now on. All right, I'm Victor Nully on the Comic Here. I'll see you next time for episode 259. So until then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero, bub.